Hi everybody, Don the Mushroom Hunter here, and I am on Government Island in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan in the Lachino Islands, and just came across these uh, really pretty interesting mushrooms. These are agaricus. Now, agaricus is a genus of mushrooms that has many different species. Um, they're characterized by generally a white stem, sometimes with a, a ring or kind of a, uh, a little skirt. They have uh, gray to pink to brown gills. Uh, the gill color can change as they age. Uh, the spore print, or the spores are brown, so that's why the gills turn brown as they get older. So this smells delicious. This smells like a uh, just very earthy, very mushroomy, very similar to uh, a, a, a mushroom from the store, like a portobello, a cremini, something like that. Um, and they are related. So uh, the agaricus bisporus is um, all of the mushrooms basically that you get in a store that are button mushrooms, cremini, and portobellos, they're all the same exact species. Um, now when you find agaricus in the wild, they're very difficult to narrow to species just from photos um, or even from other macro characteristics, but we don't necessarily need to narrow them to species to know if they're good to eat or not. Edible agaricus mushrooms smell delicious. They'll smell like, again, like store-bought mushrooms. Sometimes they have uh, an anise scent or almost an almondy kind of scent to them. Um, the toxic species of agaricus, which aren't deadly, but, but definitely are something you want to avoid, um, smell uh, like chemicals and specifically almost like a sharpie marker is the the kind of odor you get from those um, the toxic species also stain bright yellow when you damage uh, the cap or sometimes damage the the um the stem um, the thing about that is some edible agaricus also stain yellow so the yellow staining is not as important as the odor uh, so I see there's a, there are a couple growing here. Here's one that's a, a little younger. These are a little past prime for eating because they're, the caps have upturned. Um, generally speaking, with most uh, mushrooms that have caps like this, I don't want to eat them unless the caps are still kind of in this button stage. Um, you know, we, we don't want, uh, we don't, they, the edibility definitely declines as they expose their gills to basically to as the last ditch effort to release their spores. But that doesn't mean we won't find more of these around. And this is a primarily uh, uh, conifers growing around here. So, um, so there might be more, actually see some back in there, tucked away, some younger ones maybe. Um, but anyway, these are very common through, uh, almost from spring through fall, um, and they can grow in many, many different uh, habitats. They can grow in, the f in fields, they can grow in the woods, sometimes even out of mulch. So keep your eyes open for these. Delicious, mm, delicious mushroom, and they smell great. So, happy hunting. Mm -hmm.